9-1 part 2 we're going to look at more sequences and we're going to look at another way to tell if sequences are convergent. We start off looking at what a monotonic, monotonic sequence is. And what that means is either the sequence terms are always going up or they're always going down. Monotonic meaning always going one direction. So here are two sequence rules. I want to know, are they monotonic? And if we look at the first one, and we write out the terms for a sub n, this is equal to 3 plus negative 1 to the first, or 2, 3 plus negative 1 squared, or 4, and it just goes back and forth like this, up, down, up, down, up, down, so this is not monotonic. The second one, if we write this out, we have 1 and then we would have 4 thirds, then we would have <coughs> 6 over four, and so on. And it looks like this is going up, but the question is, is it always going to be going up? In other words, what we need to examine is, is b sub n always less than b sub n plus 1? So what we're questioning is, is 2n over 1 plus n is that always less than the n plus 1 term? <coughs> and we can cross multiply here. Notice that we're not going to be multiplying by any negatives, so we don't have to worry about changing the inequality symbol. And what we have then is 2n squared plus 4n is that always less than 2n squared plus 4n plus 2 and what we end up with is 0 is less than 2 and that is always true so this is monotonic, and we can go further to say it's monotonic increasing. A bounded sequence means that if we have a sequence, if it's bounded above, that means there exists an m in the real numbers of number such that the sequence terms are always less than or equal to that number for all n. It's bounded below if there exists an m such that, or an m in the real numbers, such that a sub n is always bigger than that value for all n. And we say that it's flat out bounded if it's bounded above and below, keyword being and. And if it's bounded, and if it's monotonic, then we can conclude that it converges. And we can use this theorem to help us determine convergence of sequences.